Hello everyone, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and hey, are you ready to have some fantastic paper fun today? Well, let's dive in. Uh, I had a couple questions recently and I thought I would do some videos uh, demonstrating a possible answer. Uh, the first question was, um, hey Pam, I saw how you made these full page journals and that was really cool the way you used uh, fabric to uh, hold the sections together and I'll link the video down below if you haven't seen that one. But the question was, um, how could I use the same concept and also, I have a cereal box I would like to use as the cover. How can I do that? How can I do that? How can I insert it into either a, uh, a cereal box that uh, is shaped like that? So that's going to be your front and back cover with the spine already in there. Or perhaps you have um, an old uh, book you're not using anymore and you would like to use uh, the cover for that. Like for example, I have uh, this old uh, cover which is uh, very large and it uh, magically almost fits a eight and a half by 11 paper. So that's a good paper size to play with. Um, all right. Well, I, I was thinking about it and thinking about it. And I think, I, I think I thunk of something. Uh, so I'm going to show you, um, how to do that. Um, all right. So, um, I'll just put these aside. So yeah, if you, if you didn't see these, I had some that had like a, a fatter spine in the back with some extra material. And then this one, I took that extra material, wrapped it around and just put a piece of fabric all the way down and closing it, making it a, a spine that looked like that, which functions fine. And this is, I think the one we made during the video, but, uh, okay. The other question was, can you show us how you made that cover on that journal that you're working on right now? And I'm saying, sure. Okay. Um, this may be a separate video unto itself, but I just want you to know that that is coming up. And I think what I might do is actually do this technique on this journal that we're going to build together today using this technique, either in a cereal box as a cover or as, or, um, an old book cover recycled as a cover. Okay. So let's do this. All right, let me just put this big, this big clunker out of the way. I got my, yeah, I got my mic on. Yeah, everything is good. I, lo I heard a little peep from down below. How are things in your world today, sunshine? Everything's fabulous, mom. Yeah, I, I'm going to sleep now. Okay, you may craft in peace. <laughs> Thank you for the 1,000 uh, fetch throws this morning, mom. Okay, going to sleep. Okay. So, um, all the, all, everybody is <laughs> in their positions. All right. So, uh, let me show you a prototype as I was making one this morning and this is what I came up with. Okay. So don't know, ignore the ugliestness of the outside. Cause I haven't done anything with the cover yet because this is the cover we're going to decorate and make look like that leaf like cover. Okay. So it's a, a little rustic on the outside at this point, but on the inside, we have magically attached this to a book, uh, a recycled uh, book cover, or you could put it inside a uh, cereal box if you want to decorate the cereal box as your cover, which is commonly done and a whole heck of a lot of fun. I just didn't happen to have a cereal box, so I'm going to use a book cover today. Show you how I did that. So totally functional, works fine, and actually it's an easy concept not so easy to actually construct because of the wiggle factor and there's probably ways around that but i'm going to show you my method and you can probably tweak it from there but that's the way it looks in the spine looking down okay and i just made it a regular uh square flush spine and um everything opens nicely um i think uh yeah, it's a very functional book, a nice big book. And it's nice to have a big book sometimes because sometimes you just need some space to spread out on. You know, this would actually be a great way to make your own scrapbook. You know, if you wanted to make the scrapbook and decorate all of the inside as a traditional scrapbook, a bigger book like this would work very well. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is just explain the basic concept first so that those of you who are, uh, you know, are sewing seamstresses and all that, you can just go off and running and do your own thing. And then for the rest of us, I'll walk you through step by step, slowly showing you everything I do. And you can totally get your feet wet, take it easy, learn step by step as I just did. Okay. Because I'm not an expert seamstress by any stretch of the means. So 
Okay, let's say we're working with a 12 by 12 sheet size, not a 12 by 12, um, an eight and a half by 11 uh, sheet. That's a good standard sheet in America. Um, or use whatever size you want. You just want to make sure that your cover will accommodate it. And what I found while I was doing it is that my, okay, this one is, it's actually eight and a half. Uh, it's actually eight and a half. It's eight and a quarter by 11. And I, I'm going to show you how I kind of got around that because a lot of the books will end up being just a smidge smaller than what you need the, if you use a book cover. Um, if you cut the cardboard out yourself or the cereal box out yourself, then you can probably get one that's a little bit bigger and wider and taller than your page. And I would recommend doing that just a little bit wider, wider and a little bit taller just so that your book page is set inside and you don't have to do any extraneous cutting. I had to do extraneous cutting. I'll show you how I did it. Okay. Okay. So eight and a half by 11 is what we're going to start with. And then you just need a piece of, oh, I was going to show you just the basic explanation is this. <laughs> okay. Let me just, uh, let me just trim the piece. The first initial piece, I'm going to call it the, the, what am I going to call it? I'm going to call it the, um, the fly piece because it's going to fly over the first book, the first, the inside cover. It's going to go across the spine in the back. I'm talking about the purple piece here, and then it's going to spread over the back cover and that's going to anchor everything down. Okay. So I'm just going to cut maybe 11 tall and oh, I don't know. This is starting at about seven and a half wide. Um, I may shim that down a little bit, but let's just see. And it really, you can have a lot or a little, doesn't matter if you're going to decorate your inside covers or you could cover your inside covers with paper. So it doesn't matter how wide they are. It'll just give you more anchorage down to the front and back cover if you have those glued. Okay. So the concept is this, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take that same, uh, we're going to fold, like there's going to be a middle part here. Your signature is going to come in here. Okay and it's going to hold it like that. All right. So the whole deal is we have to construct all the fabric stuff first, then sew in our signatures and then take this whole thing and glue it into our book. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Okay. So what I did was I made five signatures. Yes. Yes, I did. This was a, this is a five signature book of 10 pages each. Okay. And I think they're pretty much coffee, coffee, copy weight, paper pages, styles, things like that. Um, so then I just, I had a shirt. <laughs> I had a shirt. It was once a shirt. It's not a shirt anymore because I cut it apart, but I had leftover material. So that's why I decided to use as the signature um, sandwich makers. Yes. Okay. So you're going to want a strong yet relatively thin material for the inside and a nice cotton muslin works fabulously here. You can use uh, whatever you have. I wouldn't recommend a stretchy fabric though. And probably, I mean, you could probably do it with a polyester or something, but eh, it might get difficult with the glue and seepage and all that kind of stuff. But these are my experimental shorts. I'm trying to salvage with my shirt. We shall see not going well. <laughs> okay. Now, you can get into a lot of measuring here, or you can just get into a little measuring here. Maybe that's kind of, maybe I'll put it that way. It's easier to see. And I'll just do this side instead. Why not? Okay. So this first one, I'm going to put in approximately the middle. Let's see, four and 11 and a quarter. So I'm going to move that over a little bit. It's a middle. And then, so what would be the middle of? No, that's not right. There. Okay. So four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half would be one, two, three and a quarter. That doesn't look right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, it's seven inches. So I want to go to three and a half. One, two, three and a half. That's right. Now, is that right? That doesn't look right. Let's just fold it in half. Okay, here we go. So much for my math. Yeah. Meh. <laughs> All right. Am I, am I recording? Oh, please. <laughs> okay. Oh, something fell out of my drawer. That's all right. We'll just go back on the process. Um, okay. I'm just going to take a marker so I can see where middle is. Can I see that? I don't know. Let's see. 
Yeah, I can see where it is now. Can I? Let's just make the mark. And maybe, maybe I should get, maybe I should get a white. Okay, let's make a good mark there. And if I fold this up at the bottom, I fold that up at the bottom, and I make a little mark. Okay, so I know where I'm sewing. Okay. Yes, there will be sewing with this project. Can't really avoid it on this. And I can't figure, I don't think glue would hold it together well. Um, okay, so I hung it a little over the top, a little over the bottom. And um, you can run, um, a, run a bead of glue stick or you can pin it or you can um, uh, do something to secure it. Uh, but I think it's going to be okay on its own. And I'm going to pull over my machine. So I'm knocking everything over. Okay, here we go. Eh. Oh, let's bring you. Come on, little arm. I oh, know it's so dark on today. Sorry. I'm to get better lightage here. Going to number one, I just a straight stitch. So I'm going to straight stitch from top to bottom down the approximate middle of this um, piece of material. Okay, where's my little flopper? Here it is. And here we go. Okay, probably a good idea to lock it. Okay, that means go back and forth. All right, I'm gonna go hold it down here so I know where I'm headed. And this part then you can do relatively fast. Is there any, yeah, there's string in there. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All right, here we go. And this is just a sa simple straight stitch. If anybody can do a simple straight stitch. Give yourself five minutes in a YouTube video and you'll be rocking pull that off now I'm going to uh, this is just choice I grab my pinking shears and I'm going to pink flush the ends of these okay pink flush pink flush okay so now whoop, can't see mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have a place for one signature to go. So when I get a pile of 10 papers, I'll put them all in here and then I can attach them like that. And how am I going to attach them? Well, uh, basically in a nutshell, I'm going to sew them. So the front of this cream uh, sandwich signature sandwich material and the back of it are both going to be attached to the signature and that way the signature will be free to move about okay so now we have to get the other guys in there okay so let's get the other guys in there do i have enough do i have to disappear and come back magically and you won't even know i'm gone yeah i gotta i gotta go disappear and come back but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut out four more strips um, that are approximately i think these are they're about two, one and a half inches, two inches wide is fine. It's fine. Um, you can always cut off more, go for a little more, maybe make some that are two inches wide. What are these? I think these are probably two inches wide. Yeah, make some two inch wide ones and make them as tall as your piece of um, scrap. And um, do, 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 do. let's see how this fits in here. It's gonna be the example. Okay, we want to make sure that it fits, right? Yeah. Okay, this is our book we're going to be working with. And this might be a little long. Okay, so I might I might just shave off um, maybe a little bit. Yeah. So you want to make sure that it sits inside your book. This is called the learn as you go method. Must have taken that into account when I did my first one so long ago it was early this morning okay so now we are definitely inside the book okay so that's what you want all right um uh okay so hang on i'll be right back okay so i i told you i would uh let you see everything so um okay here we go all right so i i, I decided to come back and show you everything so i'm doing these about uh two can you see that two inches wide Okay, there's a two inch wide mark. Let's see if I can get through that one little area that's sewn here. Just make some long strips. 
and cut off any parts that may have hams on them or something like that. It's just a simple uh, muslin shirt that was, but isn't now. I don't think I need it that long. So I think I can cut across here. Great, great use for old clothing. Okay, let's see, two inches is about there. Uh, there, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this off. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, this is fun. This is um, um, a little more technical, but uh, you know, hey, sometimes we need a challenge and sometimes we have relaxing days where we're just gluing paper. And other days we're up in the ante a little bit and having a little spicy fun. Today is spicy fun day. Okay. Um, all right, so let's see what we can get out of this. I just need two more, Pam. Just two more. That's all you need. You can do this. You can do it. Go for it. Okay. Now I'm talking to myself like Sonny. That's weird. <laughs> and he's asleep. <laughs> okay. So two inches here. Five and three is two inches. Okay. Down there. And we cut. And we go. So actually, you know, it's funny when the person asked this question, I thought to myself too, what if I wanted to put a hard cover on this? Basically, that is the real question. What if you wanted to use the full page concept in a hard cover? Hi, honey. Hi there. Right there. Okay, three. And then we just need one more, one more long one. And we're good. Okay. Going here, just cutting, 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 cutting. Okay. All right. And four, there we go. Okay, so that's how it's done. It's easy to care, tear cotton muslin too, which makes it a nice fabric to work with. Then we have all this extra to play with another day. Okay, there you go, over there. Four, okay, so let's do this. Let's let's consolidate and make steps easier. I don't know if this will actually work. We will try it. I'm gonna try cutting all of these at the same time. So I have my nice little um, pinked top and a pinked bottom that are all the same height. Pinking, pinking. All right, pinked at the top with the best of them. And now we're gonna see how long we need to be. Hmm, we need to be about to there. And now we're gonna pink at the bottom. So if we do it in one fell swoop, we only have to cut once. Didn't measure twice, just cut once. Okay. <laughs> all right, now this, has what I call a pseudo spine in here. How wide is the spine? It's actually an inch spine. Now, the spine is already not in good shape, so I can reinforce that, which is great. So we will do that later. So let's just put that over there. Okay. Um, all right, let's put the rest of these babies in. Now, now here comes the, um, the next part to think about. Um, how close do you want your signatures together? And when I first made this one, this is my experimental prototype, remember, so be merciful. Um, there's greater space in between the first signature than the rest of the signatures. And I think I didn't need as much space as I thought. So I would say probably quarter inch to a half an inch where the middles of these signature sandwiches will be uh, up, uh, attached will be perfect. Yeah, so this is probably half an inch. This is probably more like a quarter of an inch. So you can see the difference and they work. They both work fine. Um, just so you know, if you were wondering, um, and I guess it depends how many pages you're going to put into my machine will comfortably sew through 10 pages. That's why I chose to make each signature 10 pages long. Okay. So now what you want to do, it's handy if, uh, you have these little clips or you can use a pin or a paper clip, but you, what you want to do is you want to fold this over. Okay. And then just secure it somehow. So it's not in your way. It's very important you don't accidentally sew on that. Okay, so now this little guy, you want to fold in half, find out where his half is. Okay, and then you want to put him where you want him to live. And I would say you want to live there. Okay, all right, now open him up. Now decide where your middle is. Maybe you want to put a dot. A dot always helps. Okay, I'm going to put a dot in there. Okay, do I have a dot? I have a dot. Okay. So down here, aim for halfway. Uh, no. Okay, there's some reason being going over it that way a little bit more. No, no. Okay, I didn't have it measured right. Uh, you want to make sure that your little ends are aligned. 
and then we're about a quarter of an inch over and I'll put the dot here okay okay so now when I open it up I'm moving over just a smidge I just I feel like to be a true quarter inch over you need to move it over here's like the fussy part this is the fussy part getting these little signatures now you can peek and see oh that's pretty good okay so you say that to yourself and all is well okay so let's sew this one in remember we're going to sew down the middle of this making sure not to accidentally sew any of your other stuff in <laughs> by accident okay so you lift it up carefully you can probably pin it too pinning would be guys you can take off these clips now it's okay all right now you're aiming oh can't see okay not exactly the perfect setup here for that but you can see let's see okay i think you can see all right, here we go. Aiming for the dot. Where's the dot? Okay, see the dot? I'm going to sew a straight stitch. I'm going to go a little forward, a little backward. Okay, and now we're going to go straight down. And I'm going to head for that other dot, wherever it is. Can't even see it yet. It's got to be coming. Oh, it's way over here. <laughs> I think I want you to be there. Yeah, it'd probably be good to pin this. Okay, I would recommend pinning. It'll hold everything together. There we go. Okay. Cut that up. Cut that off. And then you can remove that. So now we... Oh, can't see anything. Now we have... Let me just cut the tail off. It's probably another tail. So we aren't looking at strings that aren't attached. Okay, so now we have two signature doodads, signature sandwich holders in place. So let's go for, so you're going to put one in the, if you're going to do five signatures, one in the middle and then two on either side of that. So I'm just going to keep going here and let's get the next one. All right, let's fold it in half. Let's make our, we don't even have to lay it down to do that. Let's just hold it. Make a halfway mark. Get this one halfway. Make a little halfway mark. Oh, love the halfway mark. Love the halfway mark. Can have fun, cause we got a halfway mark. Okay, now we're going to experiment. We're going to attempt. We're going to do it right this time. We're going to get it a quarter of an inch over. There we go. That's about good. All right. Um, let, me, let me, I don't know. Let me, let me do this and see if that makes it better. Okay. All right. Here we go. Can you see? Oh, we're going to sew now. Okay. We're sewing. There we are. All right. I'm in here and I'm, I'm looking for the dot and I'm aiming for the dot. And I might need to move this because it might be in the way. Make sure you get all your stringies going where they should. Oh, wow. It's not, it's not even attached. Where's my other stringy? Oh, they're back there. Okay, it's all right. Okay, whoa, 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 something totally came apart. Okay, this is my life. All right, um, I did clean out my uh, sewing machine the other day. Was not happy with me. It was not. Oh, there's some way to do this. I was, oh, I'm going to probably have to come back to you. Is that it? I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, I'm still recording, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, that means I wasn't recording before, right? I guess I'm not right back. What did I miss? All right, we're just going to keep going. Basically, I had to put my foot back on because it fell off. <laughs> not my personal foot, the uh, sewing machine foot. Okay, we are recording now. Good gracious. I hope we have all that. Um, okay, here we go. It's, oh, no, my foot's loose again. What, what? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I finally got my foot on and my... Um, 
I'm ready to go. Okay, so let's do this. Good thing I'm going to do a few of these with you guys so that you can see me do everything wrong and hopefully correct it. <laughs> All right, so am I on number one? I'm number one, so I'm in the middle. Now I'm headed for my lower dot. I guess I can take this off now. Headed for my lower dot. Okay. You know, you could actually draw a line too um, with a pencil or a marker right on this so you have a guide. That would work as well. Um, just thought of that now, didn't think of that. So, or maybe we'll try that on the next one to show how we're improving in our steps each time. So maybe a good idea to watch the final thing before you actually attempt this. Yeah, because we're yet again learning on the fly. Um, okay, so we have number three in place. So it, re it happens relatively quickly. Uh, all right, I apologize for any missed footage there, but I'm going to do a few more of these. So we should capture the process at some point. So just to recap, we have the first one, which is in the very middle of our wings. Then we attach the second one. Oh, yeah, you know, it's like it varies a little how wide it goes. But if you're more exact than me and a better seamstress, have at it. There we go. But you know what? It still works. So I just want to say that. Okay, that's probably more like half an inch and it just went that way because, well, that's the way it goes, you know? So we got to take what we get sometimes. And um, uh, the, so that's what we have. So now these are folding over easy. They're not, I don't feel like it's going to bounce back on me, so I'm not going to clamp it down. Let's do, we have to do one more on this side and then two on this side. Yes, yes, that's what we're doing. Do we have enough of these? Why do I suddenly not have, oh, I do, I do have enough. Okay, Whew. all right. Sunny, I thought you ran off with one, but he didn't. No, no, he didn't. Oh, for some reason, that one wasn't, doesn't have the little happy top. Why do you not have the happy top? Must have shortchanged you in the bucket. That happens. Okay. All right, there you go. <laughs> All right, so let's fold you in half. Okay. And let's see if this theory works better. Okay, kind of, if I crease it, I can see where it is. Okay, crease. Crease. Okay. And this is, it does have that rustic, primitive, weathered feel, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Right, right, right. Okay, it's kind of in the middle of there. Okay. So now, if I was really smart about this, I'd probably take this and draw a line. Yeah. Let's try that. Okay, here we go. Draw a line. Got a line. Just, I don't see anything. You see anything? No, nothing. All right. Let's try with pencil. Maybe pencil will work better. I think it might. I don't know. We'll see. Do we get a line? Oh, we got a line. Okay, I can see that now. Can you see that? There's the line. See the line? It's right here. Okay, but anyway, you'll, you'll be able to see the line if you do the pencil thing. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put this in place. I always seem to have one a little wider than the other. I don't know why, even though I measure it to be halfies. It's just the way it is, and that's okay. <laughs> uh, it's okay if one side is a little wider than the other on these little uh, cream-colored uh, signature sandwiches. Okay, we're going to put you about here. Put you down. Nestle you in place where you'd like to live. Okay, there we go. Now, open you up. Come on. All right, no fussing, no fussing. Clamp you down, clamp you down. You can use pens here. Um, let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna sew this guy. All right, here we go. Sorry, I don't think you could see that. <laughs> um, I gotta get that shadow out of there somehow. I will work on that. Okay, I will work on that. All right. Oh yeah, it's gonna bring that around. That's what I should probably do. Okay. Um, getting my strings, lifting this up, it's out of the way. That's good. Okay. Going in, taking this off because it's in the way. Can you see? And putting the foot down. Gonna go a little forward. Okay. Don't make weird noises. Going back. Okay. And now we're going forward. Gonna try and follow the line as best we can. Doesn't always happen, but we give it the best effort we can do. Okay, what's going on? There we go. Follow the line, Pam. Follow the line. Follow the line. Following the line. Following the line. Not quite on the line, but we're following the line. 
precision sewing. I don't know how you do it. I do not know how you do it, but uh, I'm not gonna let that stop us, okay? For those of us who are not precision sewers, that you can still have fun, I promise, I promise. Boy, this better work. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, that is the last one on this side. So there we go. It's a little wider on one side. The side is a little wider on that than that, but eh, not worrying about it. As long as I can grab the papers, I'm good. Okay, so I have one, two, three, and that is four. Oh, did I do one too many? One, two, Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, isn't that funny? Okay, you know what? It's okay. Do you know why it's okay? Because uh, I'm going to put one more on that side and that'll make it five, but then I can just trim this down a little bit and that'll be, that'll solve that problem because this wing is shorter than this wing. This one is shorter. Yeah, there was supposed to be one in the middle, two on this side, and two on that side. That was the original plan. That did not happen. Wait, I have more of these. Oh, these must be the ones I cut. Oh, that must have been just some extra floater around. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, it's okay. Actually, I think I like it like this better. Okay, so let me do that. Do, do, do. I know this is riveting, isn't it? Yeah. Um, okay, let me make a little mark in the middle. Doop, doop. And down here. Doop, doop. Okay. And um, let's draw a line so we know where we're going. It's always a good idea to know where you're headed in life. Here we go. One is there, the top and the bottom. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's pretty good. Okay, nice little pencil line there. Pencil never fails us, right? Good old pencil. Doesn't get much acc many accolades these days, but... Um, I think it's a it's a keeper. I'm not really ready to let go of pencil yet in my life. You know, it's funny. I remember in school when um, we all had to all write with pencils because we were, you know, toddlers practically. And um, um, they wouldn't let us write in pen until grade one, I think, and uh, maybe in grade one or two. And, oh, the day you got to graduate up to pen, boy, that was something. Then you were in the big leagues. Yes, right. And writing with pen. Look at me go. Yeah. Oh. oh. Nope, somebody told me uh, I can't erase anymore. Oh no, oh no. And then that went, that sudden realization of a uh, uh, pencil was so forgiving because you could erase, but pen, pen, not so much. Yeah, and let's face it, pen erasers, they, they're not worth their salt. Nope, <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Okay, that looks not over enough. Let's go over just a little more. Okay, let's make sure we have some space. Yeah, we have space. All right, let's just get in there and sew this. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. All right, here we are in the sewing place. Now we're going to go a little bit and then come back. We'll come back and then we go and we follow the line. We hold our breath. We hope to goodness everything. Oh, now, if you start to see, you get too close. Like you can kind of see through the fabric here. That's why it's good to have a, a thinner fabric. And don't trust where you put it because things move. Yeah. All right, here we go. Now we're rocking. All right, now we're sewing. I can see there's about a quarter inch gap there and I'm, I'm feeling good. Driving my sewing machine. Yeah, here we go. Back and forth. Okay, could you see that? Probably not. Okay. There we go. All right, so that is the last one. So let me put you back over here. Okay, you're here. All right. And make sure you focus. Okay. And cut off our extra little strings. Get rid of all these little extra extraneous unessentials at the moment. And now we have it. We have five in place. So now let's try this again. Let's find the, oh, I hope I have a, I still should have a middle one, right? Well, there has to be a middle one because there's five. One, two, three, four, yeah, five. Okay, so you are in the middle. So you mark middle. Here we go with more middle measuring. Oh, good grief. Okay, so you are in the middle. Let's mark middle. Okay, so now we know that I need to get rid of that much, which I can easily do. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm just going to nip there because it's kind of close to where that is. Nip. Nip, nip. These are not my fabric scissors. Are you getting dull on me? Don't get dull on me. All right. Nope, I'm going to have to cut it because it's uh, unterrible in that direction, apparently. So uh, should we use these? Okay, we're here. We're using these. are good. Yeah, these, these like to cut fabric. You know, pinkers. You know, pinkers are going. Going strong. Okay. 
Okay. Now, depending or not whether you're going to uh, cover these up on the outside, on the front and back covers, or not, if you're not, then you may want to pink this side to match. But if you are going to cover them up, just leave it like that, unpinked, and you're good to go. And um, I think I'm going to maybe leave that as is. So I am going to... Whoop. Well, just in case, it'll be done. Yeah, it won't matter if I did it and I don't use it. That's okay. You want to leave enough, though, to glue down. Don't be, like, over trimming. Don't know over trimming, okay? You've got to leave yourself some wing flaps here, okay? You make sure you live. All right, and that's my middle one, and I'm about the same width. Yeah, that's good. All right, so now let's get to the signature part. Okay, I have assembled. I just took regular copy weight paper, um, just 20 pound copy weight paper. Uh, and I got 10, I assembled 10 sheets together and then I did this and, and I clipped them at the top and on the side so they would keep this side flush together. Okay, so um, let's do the first one. All right, so we're gonna start from back to front just because and um, we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna put this in here. Now this is, I had, um, I tried different things and I want to give you my experience and maybe you guys can think of other things that might make this easier as well. Um, but as I was, so you want to keep this taut. Okay. So let me just zoom in here. You want to keep this, this, this thing needs to be abutted to the center, like, like right where that is. Okay. Um, oh, I just thought of another idea and this might be even be better. Try this. Take some Fabrifix or glue of choice and run a bead right down where the uh, thread is. Yeah, try that because that's going to keep it out of the way of your machine. Yet yeah, you're going to still hopefully hold these in place so it doesn't run around so much on you when you're sewing it. I tried um, uh, taping and I tried gluing. I tried gluing down here and I tried this kind of taping. Where are you? That kind of taping. There you are. I tried using this guy, this roller tape, and then putting them down here, but it, my machine didn't like the gooey gummy. So I'm going to try this right on the middle because the machine is not going to go right on the middle, but the papers are. Now this will be not strong enough to hold the papers in there, but once we sew it, it will. Make sure that you have enough my papers look longer than my thing. They're going to fit in my book. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Yeah. Yes, we will. Okay, so let's put that down. So that's all snuggy buns in there. Okay, get in there, snuggy buns. Okay. Now, since you can't see what's going on on the other side, you might want to take a look. <laughs> yeah, just take a look and see what's going on over there. And... I think what I'm going to do just for safety's sake, I'm just going to put like a little thin bead right where uh, close to the edge, not where I'm going to sew. So that's just going to keep that from doing anything weird that I don't know about while I'm looking over here. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to do a thin little tiny bead. You could tape this too. You could um, use a white glue here. That would all work. But this is just going to help everything stay taut and in place while we're sewing. Okay. Okay. You're probably a little tall. Okay. Now, if this is a little tall, that means it's going to be a little tall in my book, which is not good. Um, let me just double check something. Where are you going to sit in the book? Do I have enough room? Oh, I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, it's going to be okay. Phew. All right. Everything is fine. We carry forward. All right, let's do this. Bringing in the machine again. Bum -ba -dum. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Let me see if I can get better light for you guys. Hold on. All right, still have that shadow, but we'll work on that. We'll work on that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we don't want to involve... We don't want to involve the purple at all because that are your, those are your big wings that need to stay free to fly to uh, glue onto your front and back cover. So you want to pull those back, pull your wings together, move them out of the way, and then you can come and sew. I would say sew as close to the edge as possible, but not right over the edge. You want to stay maybe like 
a quarter to an eighth of an inch inside where your papers start. Let me take you in closer so you can see what on earth is going on. What on earth is going on under here? Nobody knows. All right, there, there you can see. Okay. All right, here we go. Remember your wings are out of the way. Don't let those wings get in the way. Make sure you know where your wings are. Very important. Like I said, a little more technical of a project. Okay, here we go. Straight stitch, back it up so your signature doesn't come out and then carry on. Can you see? All right, sewing. Feeling good about it. Holding it steady. Everybody's in place. And we're rocking this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. Did my wing? Oh, hang on. Did my wing move over? Oh, let me look. All right, hang on. Let's see what's going on under here. Oh, yeah, something happened under here. All right, let's back up and see what on earth happened. Somebody was not playing by the rules. Yeah, look at that. No, no, no. That, that's what you don't want to happen, okay? Let me show you what happened. I grabbed my wing. That isn't what you don't want. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull all of that out with the steam ripper, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I thought I'd throw anybody who doesn't know this, if you're a non-sewer like me, don't be ripping out your seam this way. It'll take 100 years. Go for the inside and go for those little threads and um, pull those apart. It's just, it seems to be easy. And I think you, there's probably a way you can do it from the top down, which makes it even super, so super easy to do. But if you're not sure about that, like me, actually that looks pretty good. Um, what's going on um, okay that's where it's got to come apart you're safe you're not going to tear your material if you go up from this direction i think is that the right way anybody bueller bueller somebody help okay wait where's my oh no there's my microphone yep it's one of those all right there we go it's on the floor hang on yeah, you know, I think when these other these projects where I uh, I have to use all my lobes of my brain to work, my attention to detail kind of goes out the window. Okay, can you see me ripping? I'm ripping. I'm showing you everything. The down and dirty. This is what really happens on a crafter's desk. Reckless abandon. Sometimes there's more reckless. Um, but this is how we learn, right? Right. This is this is this is uh, part of the learning pro process of uh, creating. You try it. If it doesn't work, you try it again. You try it again. You try and, and you f finally figure out a way. If somehow it works, and it, and it's, there's got to be a way to do this, right? It's not it's not brain surgery here. We can figure this out. Yeah, let's let's figure this out. We're gonna we're gonna have a successful completion of this book, and it's gonna be easy. Dag nabbit. <laughs> All right, so this is a, a lesson. Um, this is a lesson for me that is very important. You do not sew your wings. So you, I need to think of a better way not to sew the wings because I sewed my wings after I, after I specifically warned the masses not to sew the wings. It happened. It happened. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to, we're going to come in here and figure out how not to sew the wings. I'm almost home free. I am almost there. Eh. Okay. I know. More more lead paint drying. <laughs> I don't know why it's lead paint. It's lead paint today. All right, here we go. There we go. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, are we free? Okay, we are pretty... Oh, okay, I see where... Yeah, this is the home stretch right here. Can you see that? Here's my little home stretch. Yeah. Okay, there, we're free now. Okay, now, all right, you. You wings. You wings. How can I get you all together so you won't be a problem? I'll fold you upon yourself. I can feel your self. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll clamp you. Let's try this method. This is a great age-old method of seems just has gone by. Sure, sure. I'm trying to convince myself of that. No, nobody's nobody does this. It's probably totally wrong. But um, I'm going to see if that can keep my. Uh, my area clear. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, we gotta gotta keep you clear too. Look, you can't be playing in there. All right. Okay. 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 Here we go. Ready? We're gonna sew. Same concept. 
we're clear now in the back. We're clear. What is this? Let's start with even. And then let's pull. So we have lots in the back. And now we're going to try that again. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now, the reason why we're sewing all this ahead of time is because maybe we can't fit a giant book cover in here to sew this all in once it's in. So I can't, I can't get a, a book cover in there to sew it once it's in. So that's why we're doing it now. All right. Look at this bundle of nonsense. There you go. All right. And we're in yet again. Okay. And now we're going to put on one. On one. Okay. We're holding those threads in the back. They're in the back. Okay. Oh, what's all that? Goodness gracious. There are lots of threads there. They're going this way to Sunday. What are all of you guys doing? You don't all need to be in here. You got twisted up? Okay. We'll let it slide this time. Okay. About a quarter of an inch. And our wings are out of the way. And here we go. And we're sewing. And we're sewing. And we're on the paper. And we're on the, the white wings, front and back. And we are not on the purple butterfly wings. No, we're not. Okay, here we go. Back and forth, locking it in, and we're done, yay! Okay, that was um, not easy, but we did it. <laughs> How about that? Okay, so what do we have? Now we have the first signature, and it's in, it's in, it's in, yay! So that one is happy as a little clam in its place. Now, this one will be showing us where the other ones need to be placed because you want to line them up. Here's the next little tricky, stinky dinky. Um, you want to uh, um, grab your next set of papers, which is going to be signature number four. In the back, we're working back to front. We are going to, we have to go in here and release signature number four, butterfly wings. Okay, we have signature four released, not converging with signature three, butterfly wings. We're going to clamp you back so you are not in the way and I will not accidentally sew on you because we're just not gonna let that happen no 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 <laughs> okay now let's clearly define let's now what we want to do is we have to move signature number five out of the way so we're going to flip it back okay then we're going to reveal the inside for signature four okay all right, now we're gonna put this here, and I think I'm gonna try that little trick again with the glue. I liked it. Try it again. That was easy and painless. Okay, we're gonna glue here for stability's sake. And then we're gonna place, oh, now we have to measure. Okay, this is not measure, measure. We're gonna have to align. You, you want these to be the same height. Okay, all right, yeah, that same height. Okay, now we wanna go on the black sew line. Okay, and be about the same height down here too. Same height. Same height and snug against the spine is important. So a lot of like finger fussing with this one. Finger fuss, finger fuss. Okay, there we are at that right location. Now we're going to separate four completely <clears throat> from the rest of the pack. We're gonna snuggle it in tight. Get in there, go, don't be shy. Get in, you get in too. Okay. All right. Actually, okay. We have to know we are aligned. That's very important. We're gonna have a hodgepodge here. All right. We are. We are aligned. Okay. Oh, let me back up a little more. Okay. Move the machine. So I have some elbow room. Am I in? I need to be in all the way. Okay. No. Not in all the way down here. Get more in. Okay. Now flip over on the back and see what's doing. Okay. Get in. Get in. Get in. We'll check for alignment. Alignment seems okay. And now we're just going to run that thin bead of glue down the outside. You can even put dots. It doesn't matter. It's just something to anchor and something to avoid with the machine. I've learned my lesson. Yes. Not the best idea to sew over glue. I do it all the time, but um, you do have to go in there and de-glue everything every once in a while, which is not the most pleasant thing. It probably can cause horrible things to happen with your machine, but hey, you know, all in the name of crafting. All right, here we go. Now this one, we need to snuggle in. You are where you are at this point. We're just gonna glue this edge down of signature number four. Okay, here we go, here we go. 
gluing, gluing. So we're calling this a tutorial and step-by-step -step tutorial. And that means pretty much you get to see everything, all the foibles and all the celebrations. Yay. Okay. 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 A little tall, not bad. All right. Let's go ahead and sew this puppy in. Bring it in the machine. Okay. Mm-hmm. Go closer. All right. Getting strings back. All right. Making sure everybody is out of the way. There's nobody in the way. Okay. Now this is on top so I can see if it's in the way. You don't want to accidentally sew that guy. There's nobody in the back that can get in the way. So it's probably better to have this on the facing you so you can see if anybody's causing any problems. Okay. So nobody's allowed to cause problems. Okay. <laughs> I have to look around my phone to sew. Okay. Here we go. And we are going to sew a couple of stitches about a quarter inch in. Signature. And we're going to go back. Oh, okay. Now we want to move this because this guy is in the way. Okay. There you are. Out of the way now. Okay, quarter inch, and we're sewing. Sewing the papers. Wow! I maybe want to move that one. <laughs> Hold on. Things are getting exciting here. Now we're almost done. And everybody's out of the way. And we're back and forth and locking it in, and we're off. Okay, there we go. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Uh. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we have successfully placed, let me show you, signature number two is in place. It's relatively close to the same height. We're good with that. And we have, sign or, sorry, signature number four. And uh, so signature four is in place. It's been sewn in. This paper is very strongly secured in there by the stitch and it's been locked at either edge. So it's not going to come out. All right. Now we advance to number three. Let me move these things out of the way. I don't think I need these on here anymore. Less things in the way, the better, you know, unless they're actually serving a purpose. Get them out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we officially have signature five, signature four. Now this is going to be signature, th oh, can't see, sorry. Signature three. Okay, so let's just take that off and figure out exactly where signature three is. Here it is. Okay, and let's draw our little line. It's very important when you're making your signatures that you have this back end flush that's going to sit flush in the spine. Flush is your friend. All right, 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 there we go, there we go, and we have the glue. Okay, so let's place this in there, and let's measure, we want to um, align, it to be about the same height, make sure that's, oh, can't see, move that, okay, okay. So you can kind of get a bird's eye view here, putting that at the center and the same height. How's it going? Okay. I'm just going to align with the height. This is kind of the weird fuddle part. Fuddle duddle. There's a little fuddle going on here. There is. It's kind of a weird thing getting them aligned, but they got to be aligned or it's going to be bonky. Okay. All right. So now we're separating. Let's, let's gather you all together. Oh, what are you doing back there? Mm -hmm. Let's fold all of you together. Okay. Probably going to take this right off, but I just want to make sure I don't sew my wings. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to sew my wings. No, don't sew your wings in life. It's important to keep your wings free. Keep them free. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, oh, look at you're sneaking out. I totally see you. I totally see you. Watch out for the sneakers. Okay. Now let's make sure everybody's in and aligned. Okay. All right. We're pretty much aligned. Let's do that extra glue security footage. Um, just to be sure. Little bit of glue. Never hurt anybody anywhere. Okay. Here we go. 
and there, and I splushness. Flush is good. Get it flush with the spine. That's good. Now to make sure everything is where it should be. Flip over signature number three and see what on earth is going on on the back. Okay, if it's not flush, we will get it. We will reflush it. Can you see? Okay. Putting some glue along here again. So I guess you, you can kind of get the basic concept. We're making these little signature sandwiches in between the cream colored butterfly wings. And then we're gonna um, glue the whole big purple butterfly wing to the mother wing to our book covers. Yes, that's what we're going to do. That's the plan, the grand plan. I had to do five signatures, didn't I? Yes, 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 gotta love them. Okay, um, how we doing? Not bad. Why is there so much space there? I don't know. Seems like very fat. That's probably my great measuring. So you can like just, you know, make it less narrow um, or make it more narrow or closer to the signatures closer together. But um, I didn't. OK, so let's just put that there. Maybe it's a good idea to clip these all together so we can see exactly. Clip all your signatures together and that way you can align more easily. Yeah, just figured that out. OK one and a half books later, there's another tip. Clamp, clamp them all together. Now release signature number two to come up. Oh, no, we haven't sewn yet. Where are you going? Where? No, where are you? cannot sew your signatures together. Oh, back up, Missy. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Okay, grab signature number three and let's put it through the machine. Let's do this. Okay, okay coming over here. All right, now this is all on the front. So we, we don't accidentally run over it. So I'll just clamp some of this stuff down. I might have to move this, but at least it's out of the way. Okay. Get our strings out of the way. Here we go. Sewing. Yeah, we're sewing. Okay. All right, here we go. That's down. Bring my, where's my sewing foot? It's way over there. Hang on. Oh, I see the problem. Okay, that's the problem. All right, here we're free. All right, about a quarter of an inch in. Back goes forwards. Back. Come on. Locking, and now we're going forward. Ooh, sewing. Sewing. Oh, this kid's gonna run away on me here. So keep your eyes focused on the needle at all times, because that's where all the action is. Yeah, there it is. Oh, whoa, getting a little wide there. Why, why are you doing that? I don't know. Okay, just now go get close to the end and then go back and then forward. Okay, and we're off. All right. Oh, what do you make? I keep everybody happy here. All these little strings and everything and the paper. And I told you this was a fussy one. It's a fussy one. Probably when you make a thousand of them, it's not so fussy, but boy, the learning curve. Whew. Okay. Um, all right, let's trim that off. Are you still with me? Have you passed out completely? Um, okay, let's go on to signature number two. Now this one's a little skinnier than the other one, so I'm gonna have to be very delicate on how I do this one. So let me flip everybody back and out of the way. I'll probably have to flip them forward so I can align. But let's just get this little guy glued first of all, because that's the first step. We glue, glue down the seam binding, glue down the spine sewing thing, yeah. <laughs> All right, and signature number two here. Okay, now we gotta make sure you're aligned. I gotta look over the top here, hang on. All right, there we go. And we're on the spine align. Okay, now, let me just bring you around, make sure you are, now you fell out, of course. Okay, come on. There we go, back into place. Not so bad. Let's just make sure you're aligned with the other guys. Okay, yeah, you look pretty good. All right, there. Now we can we can glue down the front side. So I think, yeah, to glue down the front. And then we'll slip around and do your back butterfly, cream butterfly, individual signature sandwich flapperoonie. All right. I'm sure there's technical names for this stuff. I just don't know what they are. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. All right, there we have that. So let's go ahead and peek and see what on earth is going on on this side. Oh, not so bad, actually. It's okay. Everything's all right. So you want to check for alignment at the top. 
an alignment at the bottom will work with pretty darn close because this is a floppy this is a floppy sally you know it's a floppy sally of a project and um that's why i thought it was you know kind of easier to make this without a hard cover but you wanted a hard cover and i will show you how to do this with a hard cover um, because you asked and uh, i actually was wondering about it myself too and i think that uh it can be done so we will figure out a way there we go yay all right and we have like a nice i would say that's a good almost a half inch there but that's what we have so we are here now we are gathering up our butterfly purple butterfly wings so nobody who's not supposed to be involved is not everybody has to play fairly there'll be no cheating nobody gets sewn before their time okay or glued before your time you there you go there you're in place now we're gonna go ahead and sew this in oh we're getting a little faster right now we kind of got a rhythm going now okay look at us go all right and we're tucking in i could probably move all this thing starting to run into myself here all that cleaning and i'm running out of space already how's that happening yeah it's not that bad yet <laughs> there's some sense of uh, organization still in the craft room hasn't completely gone out the window yet okay here we go boom and we're sewing okay here we go ready hold breath we've got a couple of stitches in and a couple of stitches back okay now we go forward all right and we're going we're going we're going and we're going we're going oh and we're going and we're off okay i just dropped something off my table i don't know what it was oh sonny's been pulling things out of my drawers again <laughs> a little stinker about him where is he is sonny with you oh my honey has his earphones on <laughs> so he doesn't have to listen to his wife babbling in the other room i think that's why yeah they're in there cooking they're in there cooking lunch okay so we have that one I'm move you out of the way all right, that wasn't bad, right? Now we just have one more. One more and we're, we're home stretching it. We're home stretching it. Okay, here we go. The last one. Okay, so let us get the glue. This is uh, Fabrifix clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. I just like the glue, not sponsored. Just, just like it. Works well, grabs fast, and it doesn't really warp my paper too much. Okay, here we go. Now placing this now you gotta align and place kind of at the same time all right so, sunny is calling for papa at the back door because papa's outside barbecuing something and sunny would like to be involved <laughs> so there we go are you good make sure you're all right okay that's good back yeah, you look all right. Okay. All right, let's glue, glue the front. Let me take this little string. Oh, can't see. Sorry. There we go. Okay. Flipping up really close to the edge so I can ignore, uh, miss it with my sewing machine. Because I don't like cleaning any more than the next guy. So uh, we want to minimize the glue, gluing of the sewing machine parts if we can. Okay, there we go. Everybody's in their happy place. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's all. See, this one's going to come out the best, and it's the first one you're going to come across in the book, which is going to be extra good. Okay, going back here. Now you could put, like I, th I showed on the other video, you can also do this with staples, um, uh, which would um, be another way to secure your pages together and then you could just glue them into the uh these things the wings and you could sew them or just just glue them that would be another option i haven't tried that this way but let's just let's just stick with this right now okay don't do one thing at a time here okay there we go that's very nice alignment is good bringing in the sewing machine taking this bubby home okay so we must remove the guys from behind we don't want to and I sew those in. Now, now I can see my my purple flaps. So nobody else is there other than purple flap, purple butterfly wings, and we will keep you out of the way. I can see exactly where you are. You're not gonna sneak up on me. Nope, nope, sneaking. 
And back we go, locking it in. Okay, now we go forward. Yeah, here we go. Can you, oh, I'm not really showing you that, am I? Sorry. Okay, here we go. Let me see the, the whole thing here. Okay. See how this folds in here and it easily folds in there? Yeah, that, that, that's nice when that happens in life. And here we go. Now in the home stretch, the last signature. Yay! Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Ah, free. Free. Okay. Back over here. Okay. Boop, boop. Okay. And so there we go. There we go. All right. Let's take a look at what, what on earth we've created. Oh, my sewing machine out of the way. Okay. What's this? Extra strings unattended to. All right. Take that off. That off. That string stuck to my fingers. Well, the fabric So what do we have in the back? This will this will probably this will show reality. How bad is the solar solar I am? Okay. So this is what it looks like on the back. With all the, and I would say there some are wider than others, but you know whatever. And um, but it's all gonna work. It's all going to work, which is awesome. So this entire back flap, this entire back flap is going to glue into the book. Okay. So it is going to glue into the book. Oh, let me just show you the signatures. Okay. So this is going to come onto the front cover. The spine part is going to glue here. And then the back flapper is going to, the back flapper is going to glue down on this side. Okay. Like that. So now you have to take a size assessment. Um, if they sit apart really wide, you can still get them into a smaller space by doing the ever so fancy scrunch technique. Yes. So that means there's going to be a little bumpling and buckling here, but we, we're not sweating about it. We're just rolling with it. And we're going to let that material find its place to be glued upon and grab and become part of your spine. The most important thing is that all your, your pages butt to end align equally at this end. Okay. So you're going to have some material bunching a little bit, but that's okay. Cause it's all going to glue down. And the fact that there is a little bit of space in there is going to allow more freedom for your book to open easily. Okay. Um, as you can see, I, I kind of, I'm a little longer at the bottom, a little shy on top. So the whole thing could have been translated up a little bit. But since I made this a little bit shorter than my book, I think I'm going to be okay because it's still going to fit in here. So now this particular book I'm using, let me back up a bit so you can see, is, I think I measured these for you, but let me double check. These actual book covers are... Okay, so it's 11 and a quarter tall, which is good because that gives us a little extra wiggle room. And they are like eight, stay there, eight and a half wide ish if I keep everything in exact place. Now, where I ran into trouble with the other guy, where's the other guy? Oop, where are you, other guy? He's gone. Oh, is it? No, right? No, it's totally gone. Yep. Somebody ate it. I don't, know. I don't know where. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. This guy, I actually took off the spine completely. I just shaved down the sides of the book covers. And for some reason, these book covers, when I did that, um, I lost. Oh, it doesn't say I lost anything. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you know how it goes. It just goes that way sometimes. Um, probably because when you put everything in here, it pushes your pages out a little bit. So if your book cover and your book pages are exactly the same size, you will have some extra sticking out. You can pre-cut them maybe a quarter inch shorter, your, your pages, or um, ahead of time. Or you can do what I did, which I will show you because I didn't know about that until I was done. But let me go ahead and bulk this spine up, reinforce it a bit, and um, I can just show how you how I do that. Um, I've got some chipboards. It's kind of thick chipboard. Um, I, I look for chipboard that's similar thickness to the book I'm using. If your chipboard isn't as thick, you can just double it up, and that's the easiest thing to do. So oh, I'll get that pin over there before that falls and becomes sunny danger. All right, so 
Can you see? Probably not. Let me put you over here. You can see better. Okay, so at this point, um, maybe, oh, yeah, can you hear the dishes? Um, th at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the spine, and then we're going to take this and we're going to glue it in here so you can see the big completion, which I am going to do in part two of this video. So um, I hope you enjoyed this part so far, and hang on, and uh, stay tuned for part two. Okay, I'm back, and I don't know if we're still on the same video or we're on video two or three, I don't know, um, but we're just gonna carry on. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this book cover and we are going to reinforce the spine and then put this in here. Um, so we will have a completed thingy. All right, so I grabbed a piece of chipboard. That's right, that's where I was, grabbing the chipboard. I know this is on a black book, so it's kind of hard to see, but let me go ahead and just you want your spine um, as tall or just a smidge um, less because uh, you might wrap something over the top of it and then you want it to be thinner than um, the inside here. Okay, just a little thinner because uh, when it folds up, you need both of these wings to be able to close. Now, if you're not happy with the width of the spine, just cut the whole center section out and just create whatever width of a spine that you wanna create. But since this is already here and keeping everything in perfect alignment, I'm just gonna roll with that. And let's see, can't see, that's too long, but let's see how tall we need it to be. Then we'll cut that off first. Okay, let's do that. All right. And just aligning this in a square. And how you doing, Sunny? Oh, you're going to play with your little toy? Okay. Um, I'm just going to cut this off. There we go. Okay. And sometimes if these are really thick, you can bend them a little bit and then come down. Oh, not like that. Like this. Oh, not like that either. Okay, let's try it from this way. Sometimes this works great. Sometimes it doesn't. There, that, it works better from the back. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, now let's cut this piece. All righty. All righty. I have got a ton of cordage here. I'm going to, you know, with the black mat and the black microphone cord, not a good, not a good combination. I could see myself cutting my microphone cord very easily. All right, here we go. Don't, don't, just a little shy of the one inch because the spine's probably one inch. So just a little shy will allow this piece to fit in there. Okay, there and there. Oh, that wiggled, oh, I saw that. Somebody told me if you glue cork onto the bottom of these metal rulers and it'll stay in one place, which is kind of a good idea. I like that idea. So thanks for sharing that. Let me realign that. Yeah, whoop, moved again. Look at that. It's one of those days. One of those days. Okay, let's see. Let's see how we're doing here. Let's just see. We need to get a piece off. All right. This is a very thick piece, so it's a little trickier to work with. Yep, yep. All right, now let's try this. Let me back you up a bit. Right. Okay. Try it from the back. Much easier from the back. Yep. Here we go. That's the ticket. Okay. So, kind of a rough edge there. Let's retract that so we don't have to deal with any of that nonsense. Let's curl that around so it's not buggling out on us. No buggling. Let me just... Uh, Shave those little edges off so we don't have to deal with them at all. Be gone, little edges. Be gone. There we go. Oh, very nice. A little more right there. Okay. There. All right, so we have a spine. Let's get our book. And let's do the test. This is the all important spine test to find out if it's narrow enough. Good, good, we are good. Okay, so next thing, 
going to glue this puppy down. So I'm going to glue on what is still here. These little broken pieces of spine will help, but we were going to reinforce it because we were not going to trust that to be strong enough on its own. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that in there where it's going to live. Voila, we have a spine, double checking. Double checking, very good. Okay, now reinforcement time, hang on. Okay, we, I have grabbed my Tyvek tape, which is really strong tape by DuPont. It's used to um, make houses basically. And, um, uh, but you don't have to use Tyvek tape. Uh, um, you can use masking tape, you can use duct tape. Uh, you can even use fabric for this part, but uh, I'm gonna use this Tyvek tape, it's really strong. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Making it. Let's see. There is good. Put some down there. Can use this up down here. Doesn't matter. What you digging in, Mr. Snumple Stumpkins? Mm -hmm. Yeah, are you digging in the drawers? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't get anything, huh? Because mama tidied them up a bit and they are all a little bit more difficult to ferret in. Thanks, Dennis. Okay. Reinforce this even a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Some strings glued in here, but that's okay. I can use these little pieces up. Nothing wrong with that now. Nice not, why not? Right? There we go. And uh, put a little extra on there. Okay, so that is a good, strong thing. <laughs> now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of, um, I think. <sighs> I'm going to put something over the top here so that kind of covers that area. Um, let's see how I did it in this one. All right, it went on the inside. Right, okay. So this is a good time if you want to put a little bit of material uh, to cover the top and bottom of your spine. Or you can bring around your, um, no, you can't because we're going to have signatures in here already. Don't you want to do this now then? <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll do it even a little wide like this. Yeah, that's good. Okay, make it a little bit wider than what you're working with. Oop. Oh, I dropped my tape, hang on. All right, I'm back. Okay, here we go. And just a little piece. And I'm just gonna tack it over the top here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tack it on either side too. Smoosh it. What are you eating? What are you eating, my little boy? Nothing? Okay, I think you swallowed it already. Oh well. Whatever it was, isn't anymore. Or it's down below in the in the gizzard. In the gizzard. Alright. Over the top. There we go. Alright, so that's gonna give us a little bit of a, <clears throat> a finished edge on top, which will be which will be handy. All right, so let's do the bottom. Okay, let's try a little piece. These little leftover pieces come in so handy. They do, they come in so handy. Oh, is this wide enough? Maybe not. Let's see, let's see what we got. I think we'll be okay, I think we'll be okay because we just need a little, a little whipper in here, a little whipper. All righty. There you go, you little string. Come out. All right, you want to live in there? You can live in there. You will be there forevermore. There. And we flip you over. Can you see? Yep. And we're going to do you, glue you, little dabble do you. There you go. And glue you down here. Now we're going to put um, some covering on the outside of the spine at some point on some day, but not today. Okay, so there we have the inside of the spine handled. Oh, am I dealing with this long in the way cord? Okay, there we go. Okay, let me go here so I can see better. Is that better? I hope so. Okay, 
Go there. All right. So we have this. And now, da 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 Here's the big moment. <laughs> okay. We're going to go ahead and glue this in. Now, the best way to glue this in, of my, my uh, one time doing this before, um, is glue the, um, the block that holds the signatures first. Now, remember, your signatures may be wider, but it's okay. Yeah. But you, what you want to do is where they're all sewn in, that's where you want to put your glue first. So just go ahead and glue her up. Don't glue up here where the white pages are. Just glue on the purple. Yeah, just glue on the purple for now. And where those um, sewing marks are, that's what you want to you want to glue. OK, and there, there's, a, you know, different ways of doing this. You can not glue the back to the spine itself or glue it. But I, I just think it adds a little extra reinforcement. Why not? You know, it's no biggie. And then glue a little bit beside uh, on the actual flap that will be glued down to the cover. Okay, now we're going to put more on there, but we're just going to get ourselves situated. Yes, now this is the big situation thing. Okay, grab your stuff, flush it up. Okay, you may have to uh, put it like this, put it together, get everybody in alignment. This is the gluey, messy alignment part, but it's important. Okay. And you can also do that. Now you got glue all over your hands, and this could be hard not to get glue on everything. Then you want to align. Can you see? Okay. You want to align. Make sure you're not too high, not too low. And make sure you're in the middle. If you're like way over there, which I was just was, make sure you put yourself back in the middle. And you can check. Yeah, mine's going in upside down. I don't think there's a right side up, upside down, but make sure you're the right way. Well, it doesn't really matter if you're going to cover the cover anyway. But, uh, well, that's what we're looking at. You want to see the flushness here. We want flush -aroonies. Okay. You can move them about a bit. You can evenly stagger them. That's fine. But you want to make sure it's flush on both ends. Totally attached. Okay. So let's just double check on that. Now these are a little bit wider because of that um, thing that happens. That thing is because you're putting spine and stuff in here. It's going to make your pages stick out just a little bit further. Okay, so let's hold you up. Oops, where's my clamp? Need my clamp. Let's just clamp you guys together for a second. And now we're going to come over here and we are going to glue the rest of this down. So let's get some, let's get some glue on here. Do, 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 do more fabric fix. This is a fabric fix. Yeah. And it's the same glue I've been using through the whole project. Pretty easy. Okay. Get that back where it was. Now you want to align. Make sure that this is where you want it to be. As high and as low. And you want to make sure that your book stuff is sitting right where it should. Okay. And if you need to have a little more reassurance, you can always come in here with a ruler push down in between the signatures. That's a good little trick. It doesn't even have to be exactly in between the signatures. It can just be one, two, three, four. And let's get the last one here. It can even be in between the pages, but that will help you push down. So you can see how much leftover we have. That's the leftover. That's what I was left having to face. And I'll show you a way out of that. A couple ways, actually. A couple ways, but... Sometimes you just got to grab the bull by the horns and go for it. Okay, so we have that. Now let's, we're going to have to glue this side down. Let's see if this side glued down nicely. Yes. Okay, you want to go in there and reinforce where it's close to the spine and make sure that all gets glued down nicely. Nicely, nicely. Okay, so now we're going to come back here and glue this side. It's a little loose because it's all loosey goosey now at this point. And we're probably gonna have to reposition it. This is the, the project of repositioning. Yep. For the sake of full pages. And there's also ring binders you could do, which is a lot faster and easier. Um, that's another way to do full pages. We'll do that another day. Um, all right, so let's get this going now. Okay, i get situated. Let me hold this upright. Yeah, no, you slipped slipped out of the groove, did you? You get back in there. 
get right back in there where you belong because you have to be inside. Let's see if we are in. Yes, we are in. You have to be able to close your book. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can spread out a little more than, more than I thought. Okay, not as bad as it was. I over-calculated there. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, let me just move that out just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to try a baby wave. See if that's how I don't know. I don't see how that works with Fabrifix, but I'm going to use that, that sneaky little eraser trick. We'll try that there. Gluing that down, making sure everybody is inside. Okay, you need to be pushed. Let's push you down. There we go. Better. There. Okay. Now everybody is, the spine is better. And now we need to get it all one length. I mean, the pages need to be able to fit inside the book if you so choose. And uh, what I'm going to do first, though, is I'm going to let this sit and dry for a little bit. Just so uh, we can see how that goes. <laughs> and there's everybody gluing the where they should. Okay, that looks good. Okay, let me show you. That's what it looks like there. So what it, what, let me show you. That's what it looks like there. Okay, let me show you closer. Ooh, we're really close now. Okay. Oh, am I, yeah. okay, let me do a little trimming while I'm here. Where'd my scissors go? Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Now I'm probably going to cover this cover, so I'm not too worried about all the glue and everything I've gotten stuck to the cover. There, it's better. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's just some of the stuff okay you see it coming apart at all you just get in there and you push it back together make them both equally uh separated flip it over check your other side make sure everybody is down where they should be and then just let it sit for a little bit oh maybe 10 15 minutes or so the glue grabs pretty fast and i'll be right back Okay, I'm back. It's been about a minute. <laughs> I'm so impatient. Um, okay, but I want to show you that last little bit so that um, if you run into this, and this happens all the time, um, eight and a half by 11 book cover, eight and a half by 11 sheets, but they end up sticking out. And that is just because of the buildup in the spine and things translate that way when you glue everything together. So let's, first of all, what we want to do is make sure that we align our front and back cover. Okay, so the little tips. This is really important. Uh, you you want to make sure definitely that your front cover is not behind your back cover because we're going to be cutting here and I don't want you to cut into the back cover. So make sure they're the, at least equal or maybe even a smidge forward because that will be... Now let's, let's make it at least equal. Okay. And we can clamp that. Whoops. Where are you going? Where are you going? All right. Okay. We have that. So that's going to stay... There, let me orient you. See this black on black stuff's not working for me. I might have to get a different color mat. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling a different color mat. Maybe something where things pop out a little more. All right, now this is not recommended in any realm and it's crazy that we're doing this, but this is what I did because I want to show you exactly what I did. Okay, so first of all, I lined this up with the edge. And, okay. Then I drew a line. Okay, that's what I did. That's what I did. And I opened this up. Well, let me tilt you back a bit. It's going to be easier to see if I do this. Okay. I open it up. I'm grabbing flush my innards. Okay. Now, I tried to do both wings back, but my book wasn't cooperating before, which would that would be the safest way to do it. But if you can't do that, grab everything, hold it. Don't let your the weight of the cover pull everything separate. Try and keep these all together, flush as if they were at the edge. Okay, maybe come along with some of these and put those there, okay, to keep them in the same place. That's what I did. My cover is still there. Okay, I know it's there. You might want to put something underneath it just in case you go through. You don't want to go through to your cover. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. All right. 
lining everybody up and now we're just going to oops, line you up if you have something to brace your your cover on that helps okay matt is running around okay let's okay here we go all right now we're just going to magically remove the extra and i'm going to go just a little bit inside of my line because my line was placed on the outside of the book because that's how I could, the only way I could draw it. So if I go just like a little bit on the inside, everything should magically tuck in nicely. So let's try. Now you can tear these, which is one way. Okay, but there might be some leftover. So I'm going to cut these for a, a flush uh, cut. Now I should have a fresh blade here. So we have a fresh blade. Shouldn't take so long. Going through what, 40 pages? Okay, and always take off a few and see where you're at. So you don't want to go too far. The whole thing is don't go too far. Okay. Okay. Almost there. I can taste it. I hope I'm not cutting my, my cover. Well, we'll find out. Well, if I am, we'll, we'll cover it up, right? That's what we'll do. Okay, this, almost there. I think I can just tear these last few off. I'll just lightly do that last one. Okay, we are done. We are done. There's some little oddballness down here we will handle. There. Okay. Whew. All right, now we have that done. There, let's see how we did. Oh, I think we're in. Let me get rid of this. Pretty darn close, right? All right, let's see. Well, we're definitely in here. Oh, let me back you up so you can see better. My goodness, we're all over the place. Okay, there. Eh, okay. Maybe not exactly aligned, but not bad. I think we're in the land of not bad. Okay. You could probably do more. If you, if you measured before you cut, it would probably be better that be, before you assembled the whole thing, it would probably be better. That would be a, a smarter thing to do. But since I did it after I assembled it, I want to see, I want to show you how to get out of it in case that happens. But let's take a look at our book as we are pretty much done other than decorating the cover. So right now, technically the book can go either way because I have not designated a front or a back, but let's just see what we have here. Okay, there's our front cover our butter uh, purple butterfly wing our initial signature all the pages are beautiful and very well attached and second signature third signature so these pages work like this okay yes. then our third signature working good and you can have a lot of fun with the different kinds of materials and colors that you use in here there and success now one last thing all right let me ugh, i'm totally tied up with my come back over here okay i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming um you could totally put some uh can you believe i'm trying to put my hand on any any scrapbook paper right at the moment okay now if you wanted to you could cover these back flaps so you could come in here and cut to the size of your cover, or even a little bit shorter. You could show maybe a band of this and then some of this up until where the, the cream ends and cover that, and that will cover um, this edge right there. So that's a way that you can easily cover the inside covers as well. So there you go. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed this little process. We now have a giant book, the size of a scrapbook very easily, and it accommodates almost eight and a half by 12 pages. Um, but we certainly, we've got 10. One signature is going to have 10 times four is 40 times four is 160 pages. So this is a 160 page, full page, almost um, junk journal with just which just needs the cover so um, there you have your choice um, of different ways to make these things so i hope you enjoyed that process so there's this way to make them or there's the hard cover way to make them um, this is a manila folder i used 
Um, like I said, I'll link that down below so you can see that process as well. And um, what else? What else? There was something else I was going to tell you. I can't think of it. But but until it pops into the brain, um, thanks very much for hanging out and uh, playing with me in the papers. And I certainly hope you're having fun. And we're always trying to reinvent the uh, the mouse trap, right? Is that what it is? Yeah. Reinvent, better, invent a better mouse trap. Yeah. Um, so maybe this has probably already been done many times somewhere else by very famous people somewhere. So hats off to you guys. Um, but anyway, this is just the idea I came up with how to um, put something like this and actually have it be in a hard cover. Um, so there you go. And um, if you find uh, value or had fun here, please like, subscribe and share. Please click on the notification bell to be notified of new and up and coming videos. Um, I have an Amazon shop with favorite tools and supplies. All links are down below. Um, if you haven't signed up for my monthly uh, free email newsletter, um, uh, big surprise in, it'd be a great time to be a recipient because especially in April, there's an extra special little something in there you might want to check out. And, um, uh, oh, in there you get a free digital image every month along with a net note from the bookmaker, a checklist of supplies, a junk journal tip, and updates from the paper outpost. And uh, in my Etsy shop, you're going to find lots of vintage digital kits along with some fully made chunky monkey junk journals when they're ready and um, some bundles and just a variety of things. As the year goes on, we'll try new and different projects and have fun all along the way. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and se Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. And my podcast, oh, hang on a second. And my podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. And this is my little, little dog, Sunshine, who loves to hang out in the craft room because that's, oh, did you, did you fall asleep again? I think you fell asleep again on me. Um, I have podcasts on Tuesdays and Thursdays. They're new material and they're related to junk journal making, paper crafting, the life of a crafter, and answering questions for you. And you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. And I have a Facebook group. Come on out. We're doing weekly and monthly challenges, having lots of fun. And uh, remember always that fun can be simple. And here's a big takeaway. Create with reckless abandon, everybody. So you'll see you next time. Bye.